Wild horses and burros have been protected in the United States since 1971 when Congress passed an act to protect them from harassment, from death. That came at a time when, after many years, horses and burros had been hunted and rounded up and sold for slaughter. And they had reached um, numbers that um, some activists were saying were too low and that they were on the road to extinction. And since then, they've been the source of lots of controversy lots of fighting, and lots of division. We went to Nevada, which is the state that has the largest population of wild horses and burros. About more than half of the estimated 88,000 wild horses and burros that roam several states in the American West live in Nevada. One method for reducing the numbers is adoptions. When horses are rounded up, they're offered for adoption. The government also has done research on fertility control and has used fertility control in limited ways, at you know, by no means the level that a lot of animal advocates think should be done. Whenever the idea of offering horses for sale at a large scale or for euthanizing or you know, killing horses comes up, um, there's an enormous backlash. Uh, members of Congress talk about being almost besieged by phone calls and emails and um, other messages from horse supporters and from everyday Americans who find the idea of killing wild horses just completely repugnant. Recently, a very strange alliance of groups and people involved in this situation came forward with a proposal. Um, on one hand, you have ranching organizations like the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, and on the other side, organizations like the Humane Society of the United States. The idea would be increasing roundups dramatically for several years, pulling a lot more horses off the range, increasing adoptions, putting more of those horses into long-term pastures that are cheaper than corrals, but then also, and this would be very new if this happened, starting a very aggressive fertility control program for the horses that remain on the range. The proposal is also very expensive. The, its backers say it would cost $50 million a year. That would be an increase of almost two-thirds of the Bureau of Land Management's budget devoted to horses. It seems quite unlikely that Congress is going to devote that kind of money to this problem. It's very likely that the horse situation will remain as it has for many years.